In this video, I'm going to show you how to install QGIS. First, open a browser and go to QGIS.org. If you use a search engine like Google, make sure that you navigate to the right website. When installing QGIS, there are two things to consider. Are you going for the long-term release or for the latest release? The difference between these versions is that the latest release has more features, it's newer, but it's less stable and you risk bugs, errors and an occasional crash. The long-term release is tested more properly and should overall provide a more stable system to work on. Once you are on the QGIS website, you can change its language and you can search for the installer by clicking on the download now button. On this page, you have to choose what kind of operating system you want to install QGIS on. In this example, we're going to download it for Windows. But feel free if you have another operating system. It will all work in a similar way. Because we don't want to install the latest release, but we want to install the long-term release, we're not going to click on the green big button, we're going to click on the link below it. Next, we choose a folder where we want to save our installer and click on the save button. When the installation of QGIS is completed, you can browse to the folder where you saved it. In my case, it's a download folder. You can double click on the installer to start the installation. To install QGIS, you will need to follow the wizard. Simply click next, accept to the terms, go next, choose the location where you want to install the program, hit it next, and click on install. Remember, you do need to have administrator permission in order to install this program. Hit yes. When the installation is completed, you can hit the finish button. Congratulations, you have now installed QGIS 3.22. So QGIS is now installed on your computer. If this video has been useful to you, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel. That's it and thank you for watching.